We have to embrace the negative thoughts. You just have to embrace negativity. <laughs> I know you're probably like, yo, you always talking about be positive, get rid of the negative, and what are you talking about now? How? Why are we embracing pos negativity now? Why are we embrace? Why are we embracing negativity now? Why? Right? <laughs> All right. Well, I'm going to explain to you. Negativity is a part of life. It is, it, 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 it is what it is. It's always around us. We, we, negativity is here. It's always around. It's what you do with that negativity that makes the difference. You're going to have negative thoughts, negative situations, negative energy. You're going to have things are going to happen bad in life. It's, it's part of life. It's not what you can do about it. But again, it's how you deal with it. It's how you process it. So something negative, it could be a thought, it could be an action. Something can happen. Now, I can take it and say, I can take it and dwell on it. I can make things worse in my mind. I can make things worse with my actions. I can beat myself up. I can get depressed. I can get down. I, I, I can do all of these things. And I can also process that information, process those feelings, embrace it, accept it, and realize, okay, this is real. This is happening. This is how I feel. This is how I think. It's real. It's not made up. But now let me turn this into a different direction. Let me not just dwell in it. Let me try to find the good in it. How can I use this to my advantage? If I feel this way now, maybe it's the way I reacted to something, whatever it is. Process it and turn it into something else. It's, it's, it's like you get to a fork in the road, you can choose which way you want to go. But you have to go one way. You can choose the positive route, you can choose the negative route, you can choose the wrong way, you can choose the right way. It's not good, it's not a good feeling. I don't like it. That's the first thing you have to realize, I don't like this. So what am I gonna do about this? How am I gonna get rid of it? How am I gonna process this? Am I going to walk through that negative door and be embraced by the negative energy? Or am I going to try to find the positive door and walk through that door and embrace that positivity? How can I twist this to my advantage? Think about it. You learn from negative experiences and, bad, and, and wrong choices. That's how you, you grow in life. If I have a bad thought, I'm going to say, all right, what is it that caused this thought? What is it caused this, that caused this feeling? Is there something I can do that next time I don't bring myself to this place? Whether it's I'm not going to be around this person. I'm not going to watch this show. I'm not going to listen to this song. Start processing it. Don't be afraid of the negativity. Embrace it. Realize this is real. But how can I get away from it? How can I make sure this negativity does not come back to me again? I don't think we do that enough. And that's the cause of a lot of emotional and physical issues. It brings down our mental fitness. So again, sometimes we react to things differently. Sometimes we know our thought process just naturally puts us in a bad spot. So say to yourself, okay, I'm gonna not think this way. I'm gonna, I'm gonna change my thoughts. I'm going to change the way I, I approach this situation. Just think about it. You have the ability to control your environment. You have the ability to control your actions. You have the ability to process the negativity that's always going to be there. But it's how you distribute that energy back out. I can sit here and be angry at something all day and let it ruin my night. Or I can process and realize to myself, I don't want this one situation to ruin my day or my night. So what direction do I have to go in to change it? What do I have to do to change it? Where do I have to go mentally, physically? Where do I have to go to get out of this space? And how do I learn from this? How do I avoid this next time? But if you don't embrace it and you don't accept that it's real, and if you don't accept that you have control over it, then you stay in it and you allow the negativity to control you. And then the depression comes 
the frustration, the violence, the anger, the, 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 the self-loathing, all, all of that other negative stuff, it comes right through that door with it. Because you don't shut that door and change directions. You have to take control of it. You have to take control of everything, your thoughts, your energy. You have to take control. You have the ability to control it. So do it. Take the mental time and the mental effort to work on it. The same way you work on everything else. When you get depressed, some of us are, are eaters. So we, 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 we go eat bad things. We overeat. But now think about it. You have to go to the store to go get these things. You have to get up and go get these things. You have to prepare it. You have to open the packages. You have to eat it. You, you're taking time and effort what I'm trying to say to you, to do it, to consume it. You take the time to dwell into the negativity. So you can take that same time and energy to figure out how you're going to get yourself away from it and how you can stop it. But you have to put in that same effort and energy. You have to realize what you want. And you have to realize that it's, it is it's okay to not embrace the negativity, to not deal with it. It is okay to embrace the positivity and to feel good. You have to understand that. You do not have to live your life always being angry and miserable. But you have to accept that you have the ability to control it. Think about it. Yeah.